Hello family, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing something different. We're not talking about 90 Day Fiance or any TLC. I wanted to make this video because I have been receiving so many messages from people who are interested in starting up their own channel or just have questions about creating content in general. So here's a crash course. I'm gonna cover my biggest takeaways, hints, suggestions, and like some other random stuff, how I avoid copyright. So let's get into it. If you are a viewer of my channel, you know that I use a filter. So let's get into that first. That's where I receive most of my questions. At this moment, I am using an Instagram filter. If you are interested in using a filter, I would not recommend that you go to Instagram because I believe in January of 2025, they will be erasing all of the custom filters. So this one will be gone as long as all your other favorite ones. So if you wanna filter, check out Snapchat. That's my first suggestion. If you can't find one there that you like, you can always go to Fiverr and you can hire someone to make you a custom filter. That's probably gonna be the route that I will take because I really like this filter. Whether you are using an Instagram filter or a Snapchat filter, you can only record one minute at a time. So going this route is a process. It's time consuming. It requires more editing. So prepare for lots of editing. There's lots of clipping and cutting. And if you're like me and you can't get your recording all done in one fell swoop, it kind of works out because you have to clip and cut it all up anyways. For me personally, I have to have a script written because I will sit down in front of this camera and I get nervous and I forget what I'm going to say. So I have a script. Sometimes I go off script. For me, that's very important. And then I constantly mess up reading my script. Sometimes uh, it'll autocorrect my words and then I'll just just mindlessly read through it and I'll say something wrong and I don't know until later. So it is a process. I'm still learning at one year in and it gets easier. It's easier now than it was a year ago. I still get nervous every time I'm about to record. I just tell myself, don't worry, you can fix it in editing later, hopefully. <laughs> and that leads me to my next point. If you're interested in creating content or starting a channel, you need to have a sense. One, most important, what is your channel about? What are you talking about? If you spread it all out and you have all kinds of different things all meshed together, it, it won't grow. People aren't gonna watch your channel. You need to pick something that you really like and do that. Um, and then as far as style goes, I would, what I do, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm a copycat. Um, there are certain styles or feels or flows of creators that I really enjoy. Um, it draws me into it. And so I try and take those elements, lots of different things to make it me and unique to me. They're things that I like. I'm not, I never try and copy exactly what one person does. I do the things that I like. And then as far as like the feel of the video goes, <clears throat> I know there are some creators that I really like and they're very, um, they're very bubbly and energetic people. And I could never be that person for my YouTube channels. Um, I think having to put on a a fake personality like that fake it would it would really get draining and it would be hard to do that so for me personally I just I try to keep it as authentic to myself as I can you can use a combination of different styles it, it, as long as you're consistent with it your audience will develop they'll they'll get you and liking what you're doing I can't say it enough you need to like what you're doing but if you like me have decided this is going to be my job now and you're invested in a show oh my gosh i'm such a hypocrite i didn't cover the last two episodes of um 90 day fiance the other way because one i just i didn't have the time i couldn't do it but two the episodes were so bad it was like ugh, does anyone care does anyone want to even listen to this so forgive me say as i do not wait do as i say not as i do if you are invested in this season and you're not on vacation or sick, sometimes it has to be treated like a job and you need to just sit there and get through it. Especially if you want this to be your main source of income, you have to stay consistent. It can be very challenging to make commentary when you're not feeling like it. And that is another learning curve. Putting on a persona or acting like you care more than you actually do. I have had to pretend sometimes like I, I give a crap and I don't, I don't care. I want my videos to be entertaining, so I just kind of, you know, pretend a little bit. I have to act. It can be really difficult at times. You're not alone if you struggle with that. It seems like so many creators that I have, I, I see it over and over and over again. Creators, I think it's a form of artistry, and a lot of artists are depressed, or they have some, they have something, they have some sort of mental or emotional struggle, and 
you got to be really careful with that too. If you're super duper fragile, starting a channel might not be the wisest thing. You might want to get on solid ground first, have your footing, feel good just out and about in the world before you take on something like this because it's hard. It's stressful. There's the nasty comments. There's there's comparing yourself to other creators and seeing them do really good like all of a sudden and you're like what am I doing wrong it just it's hard my bottom line with that one is allow yourself to take a break which is also easier said than done just be patient with yourself make some other online creator friends um, so that you guys can have back and forth you you know I vent I vent to Karen's Cheese My Corner I vent to Jessica I vent to Mary all the time we talk on the phone it's just nice having someone else in that realm who knows what you're dealing with otherwise it, it can just be a very lonely adventure so i first start if you want to do shows or whatever i have to record the entire show first so if you don't have a subscription you're gonna need one then i get on my computer i should just do this and record my screen so i can show you exactly what i'm talking about you need Streamlabs, OBS Streamlabs. It's not the only option you have, but that is the option I use because I like it. It's free to download, go download OBS. If I remember, I will put links to everything that I'm talking about down below so you guys can just go and download and just start playing. Whew, we got Streamlabs here, got our Streamlabs. Hip hip hooray. Here's my little notes right here. I'm gonna be reading these as I talk to you guys. And then we gotta get the show opened up. Okay, I got to record on Google Chrome. Okay, we're going to open up our TLC. We're going to go to our show and then on Streamlabs. And again, you can go to all sorts of um, tutorials on how to use Streamlabs and blah, 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 blah. Uh, normally what I will do <clears throat> is I will go to window capture and I will select just the window that I want recording. So just the show over here. I won't record my entire screen like this. I'm only doing this to show you guys. So. You're gonna do that. And then you're gonna go to your recordings, open it up, and then you're gonna drag and drop all of that into CapCut. So for me personally, what I do is I record the entire show, I bring it over into CapCut, and then I start writing up my script, okay? I have my, my editing software open, I've got my script up right next to it, and I'm editing as I go. And then another thing that I do, which you can see here, this is the video I was gonna put out for you guys and I just changed my mind, it was too boring. As I'm watching it, and there's a part of the show that I want to include, I, I will cut it, cut it like this sometimes look this one I zoomed in on her so I'm kind of creating some changes in that clip and then also in my notes this is a bad example because there's no <laughs> clips to add for this video um, I would just literally write insert corona and then something that she says you know something that will remind me what is going on in that clip so it's much easier for me to move all the pieces so when I first started YouTube back last year i think my channel is like one year old now it's one years old so in 2023 it was no problem adding around 10 seconds of a clip no problem or a combination of a bunch of clips like smushed together to create a really long running segment for me personally the only way i can include a clip is if it is under six seconds and then there are times where they get mad at you for that i don't know if it's certain cast members if it's certain topics of conversation i don't know but there are times where the ai just really really doesn't want you to use a certain clip or soundbite so let's get into the things that help me avoid copyright sometimes it just doesn't matter if it's too long they don't care what you do to it so these are the things i do to help me get past a copyright even if it's a very very short clip one of the things that you can do very simple you flip the picture, you reverse it. That will trick the AI. I don't like doing this if there are subtitles. I think a lot of people hate that actually when the when the script is flipped. Uh, so I only try to do that when it won't affect you know the viewing quality. Now another thing that I see other people using, I don't do this. I'm actually not sure how to do this, but what they do is they readjust the ratio of the video so it's like either really wide or it's kind of squished like the resolution has been tweaked i'm just gonna put up examples of other people on the screen because i don't know I, I don't care to figure it out I, I don't plan on using that 
that style. So another thing that I do on my channel, you guys have probably seen it all the time if you watch me, um, is I adjust the color of the video. Sometimes, even if there's no sound, like if you're just talking about something in the show and you're running the clip of it, they don't like it. They wanna claim it. So I will, I'll make it black and white. I, I personally love black and white, so that's what I do. Some other people um, will like really ramp up the saturation so I have my saturation turned all the way down. They might just crank it up like this. Or, you know, you can do lots of little things to tweak the picture. And all of those little things, excuse me, all of those little things help trick the AI. Some other things you can do, depending on the editing software that you're using, um, you can add effects. I would be really careful. Um, I try to only add effects if I'm trying to emphasize something that I'm saying, like the camera shake. Shakaina! something like that. The next thing is very important. I wish that I would have listed it at the top um, is music that is being used on the show. There's always lots of background tracks that are playing. Depending on your editing software, you may or may not be able to reduce the background noise. Um, if you are, if you have CapCut, I'm going to show you guys real quick. I have CapCut Pro, okay? It's like, what, $15 a month or something? Um, you got to go to vocal isolation, keep the vocals. There's also the option to remove the speaking and only keep the background music. So sometimes I will have to go this route because the music will get claimed. Sometimes it sounds really great after it's done removing the background noise and then other times it's really choppy, it sounds weird. It mutes anything that isn't a human's voice but it also mutes out curse words. So you've got to try to figure out what's the most important thing to you. What what do you want to keep? What do you want to leave? Okay, another tool is, I've been having to use this one a lot, is speeding up the clips. I hate this. I don't like it when other people do this, but I am I I feel like my hands are kind of tied. So I try and speed it up as little as possible. Usually I will just go up one click. So it's at 1.1 speed. I feel like that kind of keeps the integrity of the audio as well as, well as it could. It, there's a sharpness to the audio that I really don't like, but I mean, sometimes you just can't help it. You either do that or don't use the clip at all. Another hint to help trick the AI is to add memes, add GIFs, sound effects, editing effects. All of these changes of pace that are outside of the original show helps to confuse the AI. And it is mostly AI determining if you're gonna get a copyright or not. When it comes to adding music um, or sound effects, I have a subscription at Epidemic Sound. I'll include a link below if you guys want to sign up. I'm a little bit frustrated with Epidemic Sound because one, I feel like it's overpriced. It's about $18 a month. Um, and for a channel like mine, the audio, I try at least, I the audio should be in the back seat. It shouldn't be the prime focus of the show. So, it, it's just like, it's hard for me to justify spending $18 a month, especially when I have like a select few favorites and I just keep using the same ones over and over and over again. And the thing about Epidemic Sound is if you are using sounds or sound bites from their program and you stop paying the subscription, they will copyright your videos. It's like you're bound. And I, I don't like that at all. It's like, I've already paid for it. I've already paid for it. And at first they said, once you pay for it, once you've downloaded it under your paid subscription, it is yours, you can use it. And then boom, they changed the rules. So I had canceled my subscription a couple weeks back and then my older videos were starting to get these claims on music. And then I would upload a video, everything would be fine. And then like a couple minutes later after it's already been up, I get claimed for the music. If you want to go back and watch some of my shows, my ending credits is where I love adding some music at the end and it'll be muted because I had to go in later through the YouTube website and tell them to mute the track so that my video could be republicized. Otherwise it was just locked down. Nobody could watch it. Also, if you use music from YouTube, they make it look like, oh yeah, we you can use our tracks. <laughs> and then the artist of those tracks will claim revenue off of your own videos. So 
be careful with that. There have been a few times where I allowed revenue sharing, but as a person who's just doing this by myself, I can't afford to share revenue. As of October, 2024, my channel is still very small. If you're looking at the big picture, I can't afford to split my revenue with you guys. Now, as far as editing software, I do use CapCut. I got into CapCut a couple years ago because it was free and I got so used to using it that the idea of switching to, what is it, Final Cut Pro or something like that, which is like the big cool editing software, I wasn't gonna pay all this money for a program that I would have to relearn. So I just stuck with CapCut, especially because for what I'm doing with my channel, my edits are fairly basic. I'm not trying to make a sci-fi movie, so keep that in mind. I mean, if, if you're wanting to do more, you might want to invest in something more capable. But CapCut, I mean, you can do a lot on CapCut. I will include links for you guys so you can get started on CapCut, Epidemic Sound, if you're interested. As always, I have all of my equipment listed down below. Since starting my channel, I have slowly been making some upgrades, but... <laughs> If you've yet to start a YouTube channel, don't bother buying anything special because you might realize that you hate this, it's not for you, you just don't like it. So this was a very generalized outline of how I go about making my videos. If you guys have more questions, if you want something more in depth, let me know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do a deep dive here because it would be very, very long. I just wanted to cover like the basics, the most important things. I also question showing you guys how I edit because I think everyone should find their own style, you know? If you can take away anything from this video, it's this. You have to do stuff that you like. Do what you like. Edit how you like. Comment your own mind. Don't try to bend to the whims of everyone else. Otherwise, you're not going to enjoy the process. So. You have to be passionate. You have to be passionate. It's so important. That is going to be it for this one. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you have questions, drop them down below. I will try to find the time to respond to those. Um, if you are interested in learning more about CapCut, I would highly recommend go check out Colin Michael. He's very straightforward, no nonsense. And again, I can't emphasize enough that you have to do what you love. If you aren't enjoying this process, nobody else will. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Leave me your questions, thoughts, comments down below. If you have other tips to add to avoid copyright, post those as well. <laughs> I need them. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I gotta change my background first. Quit trying to look at my kids, you freaks. Wait, how do I change my background? I still don't know how to use this Mac. I upgraded for you guys and I'm like, huh? <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. I need to watch a video about how to make a video about how to make a video. Um, okay, hold on. I just gotta change my background to anything. <laughs> I'm gonna change my, no, I'm not. La 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 la. How do I set it for my freaking background? Ugh. I'm the worst, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, now my OBS doesn't wanna open. This is a great video. <laughs> Ah, uh, they hear the beats thinking I'm a trap rapper about to get saved and ain't no. I got good, plus I'm throwing up for them and see what's up. Enemy dog, he had me, keyword dog, my dad, that's tragic. Uh, now I'm with the king of kings, turn my beauty to ashes. My mess round, 